Thank you for staying with us. This is still why in the morning. If you're just joining us, you are still on time because this is the first interview of the day. But you missed some good talk that we had with Val and Brian Sakwa. But you will be seeing them uh, in not too long. But first, we start with this interview. We want to talk about depression, overcoming depression. And how exactly can we do that? And for this particular conversation, we have a champion um, who's championing against it. That is Nahashon Poel, who's, uh, you know, should I call it survivor? No, a champion. A champion. Yeah. It's, there are different things. Uh, when you talk about a uh, survivor, mm -hmm. maybe someone who's going through something, but maybe isn't that through the whatever this person went through okay. but a champion uh, you are a lived experience of something mm -hmm. you and you are ready to talk about the journey it went and you are really proud of uh, who you are at the moment wow amazing yeah. so you are the champion here yeah tell tell me a little bit about Nahashen. introduce uh, yourself a bit Nahashen is a mental health champion mm -hmm. like i said before a uh, mental health advocate um i'm a dj mc uh okay. uh yeah right i'm a dad <laughs> you're a dad yeah so many hats okay yeah. amazing now we want to know um your journey how has your journey been with depression now you get into overcoming it and being a champion for it so do you mind taking us from when it started because i know that um it started from a toxic relationship yeah right yeah take us through the story what happened yeah, as I said before, I'm a DJ, so mm -hmm. I happen to be working in some big corporate in the country at the moment, at that moment. Okay. Um, How long ago was that? <coughs> like four years ago. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So five years actually. Yeah, this is 2023. Mm. <laughs> ah, so five years. Yeah, five years ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there are these times when you have to travel away. You'll be away for like uh, maybe two weeks, one month. Mm -hmm. and i had moved in with some lady yeah so uh this lady uh, actually loved her mm -hmm. uh, but then uh when it all started uh she was uh, she was actually pregnant six months pregnant and a miscarriage happened a miscarriage yes. i even never i wasn't sure okay I, at that moment i just knew it was a miscarriage okay. but now uh, sometime after that mm -hmm. um I went away for work. I coming back, I actually found that found out that she had moved away with my all my belongings. You had moved out of the country? Um, no, out of Nairobi. Okay. Yeah, for some assignment outside Nairobi. Okay. Yeah, for some two weeks. Yeah. So when coming uh, when coming back, I just found out that she had moved away. She had actually she had moved out of uh, my house with everything. Everything. Yeah. Swept your house clean. Yeah, but it never hurt me. Now, what hurt me was that after that, a friend of hers calls me and be like, Nahashi, I want to tell you something. Because it, uh, she felt like she was, uh, she was regretting because they did it together. She was like, whatever mm -hmm. happened the other time about the miscarriage, it wasn't actually a miscarriage. It was a performed abortion. So, oh my God. yeah, and you know, when we, we are so youthful and when firstborns do come, we have very much expectations about yeah. our firstborns. Yeah, you have actually known the gender of the baby yeah, you know, and everything of that. So I became so alcoholic. Uh, I never knew how to deal with the uh, stress. I never knew how to best, how best I could uh, cope up with the stress. So it actually escalated the condition. It wasn't the condition. Uh, by the time I came to realize, you know, I, I, I actually, I even never knew about mental health. Let me because, take you back a little yeah. bit. So uh, when you, before you came back and you found that uh, your house was uh, swept clean, mm -hmm. were you in... Or were you in communication with her? Yeah, by the time I was coming back, you know, when you, you, you communicate that I'll be coming tomorrow, now that's when you realize that you, she's no longer talking to you. Uh, okay. But I thought maybe there was a blackout or something. Okay, you but know. you've been talking all along like Yeah, we've been talking, wrong. yeah. Uh, and when you're coming back, uh, you're being told that Sulihama. So I'm like, Sulihama ni kind of happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, uh, you know, there's this, uh, there's this notion that uh, actually when the elderly see the youth uh, doing well in life, uh, mm -hmm. to some extent they feel like the money is controlling us. So it was some, somewhere mid-month, 
she moved out somewhere mid month so the management of where i lived maybe they thought that labda ni pesa mimi ni control ndo maana nimeamua ku move but they even never bothered to call me yeah so it was actually like a let me say a parable for me it was a nightmare mm-hmm. coming back kuna mbio mehama and everything that you know yeah you were yeah. surprised you're shocked yeah so by the time it it came to a time actually uh i even withdrew from work uh from my friends i actually took most of my time drinking i became a very hard working drinker alcoholic yeah <laughs> 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 really put a lot of energy into it. Yeah, I could take some better part of my my day uh, enjoying serving some drinks, you know, mm-hmm. because I never wanted to be sober because when I become sober, I, what comes to my mind is everything about the pregnancy, everything everything that happened. Now you coming to realize it was a performed abortion, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and to make matters worse, you know, mm-hmm. uh you have actually planned how this kid is coming. You have some kabai kuko mebai kuna nguo and after taking mm-hmm. everything aliachizo vitu kwa nyumba. So it was like ukiingia kwa hiyo nyumba inakani kama eh, it is a very horrible scene, you know. know. Yeah, mm-hmm. so to some extent I had to move back home, you know, mm-hmm. to Ushago. So that's why now everything became mm-hmm. because you know as a man we tend to be like the masculinity in me i have to be fighting everything for myself you yeah. know uh, so it was very hard for me to talk to my dad or mom because uh, they had actually warned me about the lady before so how will i come to them and Where? tell them hey you warned me about this lady and this is what she had done so i feared so because i felt yeah. like they could judge me they could like it was sort of know. embarrassing yeah Mm. Yeah sure including friends they knew i had a, a lady and they're like oh, and where is your lady i can't even talk to them so the best i could do i could just avoid them and you know life uh, up country is very cheap uh, because the drinks there the local drinks they are mm. very cheap so i could actually there's no time you could ever find me sober because once i become sober i'll be regretting everything i'll be thinking much about whatever that happened for a full year for a full year you yeah. were just drinking yeah. you had stopped working yeah you had moved back to yeah. shago yeah so um, there's the, i actually attempted suicide severally during uh, that year yeah during that time but i thank god it none, none was successful that's why i'm here today wow yeah, um, thank god for that when i first said about whatever that happened to me i feel like uh, i've been carrying some very big uh, burden Uh, mm. that ningese mama pema maybe the help could be that that early you know because yeah. you are sharing whatever that went through to someone and someone hugs you and you feel the love you know mm. uh, so this is the time actually I was uh, uh, introduced to some mental health uh, practitioner so when did you get to that point that mm-hmm. you decided to share so all this while yeah. umeko kijiwe care yeah. or to drinks people probably are judging you at that point where me and all yeah. that yeah? Yeah, yeah so how did you come to open up to someone who can realize come opening up it, it was sense. so funny actually my dad is a pastor so wow. there's this friend mm-hmm. of him eh, mm-hmm. who knew me uh, since my childhood so he was like hey, in a hush you ain't good yeah, you ain't well you know Nashida, yeah. yeah so like he seduced me to talk wow yeah now being that i'm actually a pianist uh, so around that time when i shared the experience to him uh, and we actually made a like a covenant nilimwambia just between me and you let me not hear it from somewhere Siambe else father, yeah please. no one mm-hmm. you know uh, so there's this time um, church will buy some new equipment and the only person that could handle the equipment was me mm-hmm. yeah you know at this time I've actually uh, I'm 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 still a, a, an al- alcoholic you know but my dad will be like hey uh kesho tuko na kesha church so make sure uko uko na ndo utacheza piano i had dreadlocks <laughs> eh and my no journey usha go and you be like so i'll be in church what will be happening what will be people saying about me yeah. yeah and this is your dad telling you kesho unakuja kucheza yeah wow i yeah. never knew he had been told about the experience oh, okay yeah uh-huh. 
Uh -huh. So ikafika the D day. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was actually nilingia church mapema nikafanya setup nikatoka because I knew there's there was some guy who was a pianist as well. Mm -hmm. So nili I just left nikamwambia we hebu fanya kazi yako. Yeah, yeah. but then uh, I had told some friends of mine kesho naenda kucheza piano church mtakuja. And they were like yeah. So nikitoka nilienda kuwa meet. Eh yeah, mm -hmm. tuende kukunywa and they were like oh. ulituambi unaenda cha hebu tuende church <laughs> I, I, was it to geuka yeah <laughs> na nikaingia church by then nilienda kunini i'm a very good vocalist as well oh, okay. yeah so i remember leading the praise and worship wow playing the nini playing the piano mm -hmm. uh so there's there comes this time your testimonies Mm -hmm. Now watu wamepea na ma testimony for me I, at that point I don't even understand what testimony is uh, to me mm -hmm. I wasn't actually that ready to give out my 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 story yeah yeah but now who passed on now this guy who nilikuwa ni mbele when you yeah, yeah. he comes to me and he be like uh alikuwa ananiita Samson no it was this Samson of Bible oh, yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, he comes to me he be like uh, mm. Sioni my youth wa kipiana ushuhuda and I think you are the perfect match like yeah. you need to give out your experience. Okay. Uh, I was like hey tulielewa naje. Hii ni story yetu awili. Eh tulielewa naje. We actually argued for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I even never knew you know my voice is very big. Eh no no jua mzee mimi mkisi so <laughs> ukipata mkisi akiongea pole pole eh huyu anafaa kupeleka ICU anafaa kuongeza maji you know yeah so i never knew all this time eh hata mzee anasikiza so and my dad is this kind of guy and that the service was on yeah Okay. Eh, yeah. watu wanapenda wanaendelea kupenda ushuhuda hapo. Ni mko hapo eh, ni una argue. Hapana si. Yeah, and my dad ni mtu wa kijam. Mhm. Mm Mimi muogopa. Yeah. So, alinipa macho fulani, nilijipata nimesimama niko huko mbele. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah. But then, you know, all this time nimekuwa home. Uh, I knew kulikuwa na so many things that people are talking about me. I know yeah. there are some friends of mine when you come to visit their parents not to Sitembele be with them. Yeah. Because uh kuna wenye walikuwa nasema huyu alinge Illuminati ni kama ametoka so everything hakuna kitu na sawa. Yeah. 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 Like literally people knew I wasn't okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now uh, we are in a country where mental health isn't that well addressed. Yeah. So the stigma around it, the myths, the everything around it they are really devastating. Yeah, yeah they really zinaumiza by the way. Especially for a man. Yeah, Una so nikasema I am not going to give a testimony, but let me give my experience for people to understand mm -hmm. why I'm the way I am today. Yeah. You know, because umetoka kwenye watu wanajua umesoma, but umerudi like when you live sana, you are nothing. Mm, it's like you're ungrateful. Yeah. yeah. You know, and people are like eh tulimkataza furthermore ukiweka dread alafu ni ushago people will be like eh, walienda kuharibika. Yeah. Ula, okay, yeah. And being that I majored into the music industry, people actually know ni industry me ya watu wameharibika, you know. Mm. Yeah, so the stigma around yani kila kitu ilikuwa inakaa ni kama movie watu wana connect my episode hadi unaona ni kama <laughs> mtu akisikia story ana sana sema hiyo ni ukweli. <laughs> yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So uh actually give out my experience. Uh I remember one of my mom's best friends just came hug me akana bia. Yeah, in front of the church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was actually in tears and she was wow. like hey na hush and I said something bad about you. Me number 2 ni samehe. Eh, you know at that time si feel kitiote yani inakani kama you are in a, in a certain episode where things are just happening and you don't even understand why they are happening how they are happening at that at that particular moment yeah. but now like after that night mm -hmm. i feel like uh, i think i did something yenye imefanya imefanya hata i can just walk freely nikijua yeah, watu waniangalia na macho mbaya yeah, because yeah anymore. I felt like 
Jota yu story itembea sana, itembea sana uko kijijini. Kwa <laughs> Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. My friends actually came. Kuna ingina likuja kama ni walevi. Eh? Ya, yeah, nambia bro. Eh? You are one special guy. You know. Yeah. So, kuna zile wadi zili, zili anza kuni hit. I felt like, maybe I've been wasting my time. I can do something better. Mm -hmm. Then, some three, four days after that, I'm introduced to some mental health practitioner. Uh, this, uh, I'm taken to some four, five, uh, uh, sessions. Nene sessions, yeah. Uh, but then ilifika time ni kajita mkutano because they are also costly. So ilifika time ni kajita mkutano ni kasema, hey, na show. So unajua u ni mimi, that's na show, me and I. You know, mm -hmm. yo mkutano yikuwa raisi by the way, lazima tunge kwa sana kwa sana mm. kidogo. <laughs> yeah, being that I'm also from the other side where uh, asira zina kujaraka, so lazima tukosana ikidogo. Mwadi ya tuliza. Yeah, because, yeah, I felt like uh, from the sessions, I actually had to take my, I had to start my recovery journey, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I need to get back to work, be someone. Me too, yeah. Yeah, because it has been a year down the line. Mm -hmm. I've been just, be, uh, I've just been drinking, you know. Uh, and what I decided after that actually mm -hmm. wasn't that easy because mm -hmm. one of the things that I actually decided was no more alcohol, like no more drugs. Mm -hmm. Na haiku mchezo because mm -hmm. I had been someone when I rely on alcohol that much, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I can't be that sober. I remember those first times, the withdrawal symptoms, zilikuwa zina nisumbua sana, you know. Unge ni pata ni mekana, tete mekana, sweat, and uh, adi liko inafika time, like someone me, even a family member, ananiambia wacha nienda ni kubaitu kidogo, at least nyono kiwa sawa, mm, na get, so but I was like, bad. yeah, I was like, no, stagi. This is my journey, I'm fighting. Yeah, it. I'm fighting this journey, yeah. Wow. Uh, but then I realized ni kiwa bado home, uh, I may be seeing some people and these people confess to me that they said something bad about, bad about me and there are some people, there are people you actually to some extent, you felt like uh, they were your role models, you know, yes. and they've been saying some, but yeah, so I had to decide and come back to Nairobi, yeah, mm -hmm. so I came back to Nairobi, uh, uh, that was in 2021 somewhere in February. Um, now, most of my recovery journey has been here. In Nairobi? Yeah, and I can tell you it is never easy. Being a man, being a DJ as well, yeah. uh, like, I don't know what, how, how men are, are actually, when you are in society, when I get, mm -hmm. when it comes to mental health, the yeah. stigma around it and everything. You're not supposed to be weak. It, yeah. You know, in mechanical, it's a weakness. You're supposed yeah. to be strong. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so since I joined, I joined uh, uh, Basic Needs, Basic Rights Kenya, uh, we actually run a campaign in Nairobi, in it to speak up, whatever that I'm doing now, actually. Speaking up. Yeah, we are trying to challenge the stigma around mental health mm -hmm. and also m trying to make mental health a global conversation for everyone and also creating safe spaces for people to come and feel like, because we have people, uh, you know, uh, people from very different types of careers, uh, the social classes, because there are some of the things that make people actually mm -hmm. go that deep into men mental health disorders. Because uh, someone may be feeling like uh, I'm a principal or, or uh, a lecturer, yeah. But then I have a mental health issue, and this was the trigger. Now that that's the most tricky part. Triggers make people keep things to themselves. Triggers you know? make people keep things to yeah, themselves. Yeah, because like what triggered my mental health was a, a toxic relationship, relationship. You know. Uh -huh. So these triggers, to some extent, people feel like it is people are going to judge me differently. Mm -hmm. uh, people are just going to be like it gossip. It called me the main topic of gossip to many people. Mm -hmm. That's why people fear speaking up as well. Okay. You know, there are very many things rotating about around mental health, and also in a country where, as I said earlier, mental health is never addressed that much. You know, that's mm -hmm. why I told you my dad is a pastor, but I don't ad advocate for someone with a mental health issue to go for prayers and just be 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 that uh, like umetulia jume ombe unangoja. 
kupona. Why is it that when you, 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 are, you suffer from malaria, you are taken to hospital, but when it comes to a mental health issue, you just taken to, nini, to, to churches? Mm -hmm. yeah? So what do you advocate for? What should someone do? We, need, we have mental health practitioners. Mm -hmm. Like there are facilities that offer mental health services. Yeah. Yeah. Like you need to find someone you can share to first if at all you feel you can't, you can't, you can't get to a mental health facility. Talk to someone because not every mental health issue that needs to be taken to for med medical attention. Yeah. You know? So yeah. you can confide in someone that you trust. In. Actually, the first, the first step to recovery is speaking up. There's nothing else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no way you can do whatever you're going through if at all you, you can't speak up. It. And for you, it was enough speaking to your dad's friend. At yeah. least it's initiated the whole process. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like if at all I never shared at that moment, maybe I'll not be here today. True. Yeah, maybe uh, I mm -hmm. could not be alive because okay. I was so suicidal. And yeah. speaking of that, uh, being suicidal, and some people are going through that even now as we're speaking, what gets someone to that point of feeling that I need to go? Because you see nothing, nothing more is good with the life. Because you feel like you may lose hope like you too. Nothing, you feel like you mm -hmm. like you feel 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 like you are just there. You are yeah. stationed somewhere. So when it comes to mental health issues, like you find there's so much going, going through in your mind that you feel like you can't handle them at once. So you feel like, uh, let me just take this. To some extent, you feel you're a burden to the, maybe the, the people, people around, around you. you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you feel like, wacha wacha tu nitu ahi burden kidogo. Let okay. me just do away with my life. For no. you, and you said, thank God that you, you did not uh, go, uh, you know, through that plan and that's why you're here. Yeah. But what made you stop? What made you, I, I don't know, if you want to share that experience when you wanted to commit suicide, but you didn't, what made you stop? Uh, twice? Like I said, actually, even at this point, I'm getting to share my experience at church. Mm -hmm. I was still suicidal. Even then? Yeah, but the love I got... Mm -hmm. from the people i feel like i'm still useful you know yeah because when someone goes through something and is suicidal someone feels like uh i'm not useful to anyone okay you know that's why you'll find someone who is uh who has a mental health disorder like their belongings like streets because someone is looking for love like steki konekana ni kama mini mbaya kwa watu yeah, mm -hmm. that's why those are some of the signs actually is, uh, these mental health issues. So someone just seeking for love <coughs> yeah. out there. Yeah, uh, or someone feels like I was suicidal. So let me watch any legacy kidogo. Watch any jenga CV, CV kabla niende. Okay. That's why you find someone is doing some, will be doing something good today. Na kesho na pata, ali attempt suicide na ikakwa successful. You yeah. wonder what happened. Yeah. And why is it that um, sometimes, maybe this was not your case, because uh, with your case, you are uh, drinking a lot of alcohol, maybe not in yeah. the right state of mind most of the time. Why is it that most people uh, that uh, go ahead and suicide are usually the happy people? You know, what was Samanga? She was happy, he was happy. We don't understand what happened. We are just with him yesterday. We had a, a couple of drinks and alikwatu sawa. So why do you think that's the case? Uh, because I told you, like I said before, like I'm trying to look for love uh, from people such that Nikienda is na baki na jinambaya. I get, yeah. Plus, I'm also trying to make people not read my footsteps at that current, at that, so at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, sh a face that is not. There yeah, anyway. so I'm trying to be in a very happy face, a mm. very friendly face, you know. Uh, mm for someone to relate with me well. But mm -hmm. then I leo nimefanya kitu poa but kesho I died by suicide. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for you umasema it's the love. Love is the solution. Yeah. This the, the people that are going through this that uh, depression needs to be shown love. Mm -hmm. Or you know also um, people tend to believe that sometimes mm -hmm. let me say for me hata nikiambiwa I suffered severe depression, Nikki was diagnosed, I even never I nearly was shocked. You know, because at that particular time I even never knew what that was. You know? Mm -hmm. 
So to some extent, people get suicidal because they feel like hakuna time nitawe itoka situation niko hii sahi. I get. Like for me, I even never knew if it's a time uh, I'll be again on my on the decks, you know, yeah, doing what I do. More. Yeah, I feel like like my career is just done, my life is done. There's nothing more I can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what would you say to someone going through that uh, same experience that you went through? Uh, we need to speak up. Uh, we need to make people understand what you are going through because to sometimes we have different types of stigma uh, and one of them is self-stigma. When I have self-stigma is when I feel like um, I can't share my experience to someone because I feel like this person is going to feel bad about me or treat me different, differently from mm -hmm. the way this person is treating me at the any current time, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so we need to get that stigma off. Yeah, and we also need to know that mental health uh, problems is not the end of life. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what one said, I'm here. Mtu anajua the way I was there back then. Nikiambi amse, I've been sober all that time. Someone will be like, oh, not to chase. So since eh. then, no alcohol? Yeah, I've been sober. Wow. Yeah. And it's a decision that you made and you've never looked Yeah, it's a decision that back. I made. Yeah, because, you know, when someone, that's why someone, people are, al are always advised when you have a mental health issue, never use drugs, these hard drugs for therapeutic purposes because they worsen the situation. Okay. That's the time I, I, I actually learned about that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if at all this is what is making me be the way I am, then, you know. But now I ha I'm raising a kid, I have a family. Wow. You know, yeah, I'm back okay. to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm productive at the moment. So there's hope. Yeah, there's hope. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Yeah. You've talked about the self-stigma. And it's true because when you s people speak up, uh, you know, the, f the fears that someone has, when I speak up, someone will treat me differently. It's probably true. Someone will not look at you the same way. But why would you say there's still the need that there's, it's still important to speak up anyway, whether that person will look at you differently, but at least they understand now? Yeah, uh, we actually like the safe space. A safe space is whereby I know I'll share something with you mm -hmm. and you'll, you, you'll help me cope up with that situation positively, you know? Yeah. We lack that safe space. That's what we're actually doing now. Uh, that w that's what we've been doing like in the past. The project started in 2019. I joined in 20, 2021, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, we go in communities, uh, workplaces, mm -hmm. schools, we talk to people, we make them understand the reason as to why. Because if at all I'm not well um, informed mm -hmm. about mental health yeah. and you have a mental health problem, when you tell it to me, I feel like uh, you're down downgrading yourself. You know, uh, I feel like you shouldn't be telling that to me. That's why I'll go to someone else and I'll be like itakuwa ni story ya kukuchongoa sasa mm. itakuwa ni topic so nitapata weakness okay. you get yeah. now if we create this awareness well i feel like even the suicidal cases will reduce greatly mm -hmm. and we need them to reduce yeah okay. uh, actually being a man and uh, from the who research it shows that uh, most suicidal cases reported are actually among men mm -hmm. reasons to why uh, reasons are actually the masculinity we have in ourselves because I feel like I, sh I can never share because I'm a man, you know. I love what some ladies do. A lady will just come to you, uh, anakupigia simu, anakuambia, na sure, I just want to tell you something and just listen to me. She'll share with you something at a kwa, uh, so emotional, but then uh, by the end of it, atakuambia, thanks for listening, you know. For that you, unadhani hakuna kitu wamefanya, but unajua mejaribu ku relieve some pain from herself, mm -hmm. you know. But for a man, sita kuja kukwambia bibi yangu li nitaandika jana. True. Una get, mm. I cannot tell you, ni, like, iyo itakuwa ni kama na jaibisha mi mwenye. Mm. Especially a man to man, it, you can't. Yeah, even kwanza ile mbaya kabisa ni from a man to a woman. Because oh. even a lady can say that you are so weak. Uh, actually, I, I, I ever told someone about, about my, my experience. Mm -hmm. A lady, Al Nambia, you are so weak. My. Yeah, you know. 
But then, uh, now that I've taken a series of trainings, I know how best. I know they do happen. I know mm -hmm. the stigma must be there, you know. Yeah, yeah. it is there. Yeah. So, w what should someone do now? You know, you're s uh, someone who's going through uh, the situation, you mm -hmm. know, at, he's in a depressive state. I'm going through this and this. How should you, how should you react? Uh, the situations and the scenarios are very different. Mm -hmm. uh, because there's someone that will come to me, it will be easier for me to handle that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's someone who will come to me uh, and um, that person at a at a kidogo. That's why for us, we'll, we usually do referrals. We have the community health volunteers. We usually work with them. Yeah. Uh, they are much trained and they are much trained more than, what, more than I am because I'm just an expert of my own experience, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So when you tell me about your experience, Ile nita kusaidi ita kwa labda ni 10% and I can't let you go. I must make sure that I refer you to someone mwenye ataifikisha ata 90%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because to some extent, unaweza kosa kunielewa venye utaelewa mtu mwingine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Nahashen. Okay, we want to close this up, but tuambige, what, how can fast, how can people s speak up a uh, campaign that natembea to around or someone can actually look for you and uh, you direct them in the the right path that they should seek help from? Mm, I, I may fear to give out my personal information uh, because uh, I did it once. You know, we have this, when I suffered severe depression, mm -hmm. that's the funny thing about mental health. Uh, you live with it. It's only, it's only that you are trying to be your own doctor, so you have okay. to manage it. You know it. your limits. You know, you know yeah. Mm -hmm. There are some boundaries you have to keep. Okay. So someone may be telling me about the experience, now you're telling me when you go down sana. Because now let me give one experience. No, you are, um, I relapsed actually late last year mm -hmm. in December. And uh, at that particular time, you could just feel that I'm that uh, rude person. And you know, yeah. when you have an experience, you don't expect to idea, then you tend to regret. Yeah. At a minute, I regret in Bona Nikafanyivo because it makes the situation worse for both, yeah. both of you. So, what you usually do, uh, if at all you have something going through something and you come to me, like I said before, referrals are the best. Referrals are the best. Yeah, because currently uh, in Nairobi County, uh, we have in every sub county, there's a facilities that offer mental health services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was never before. And uh, it's free services. Um, I can't say they're absolutely free, but I know Kama uh, Kenya Kenya H Kenya mm -hmm. National Hospital mm -hmm. uh, on some certain days. I'm not sure. Moso he he age my youth. There's some, some some certain days where services are offered free. Okay. Yeah, but then um, I can feel like what appears when you have to malaria, you have very free kulipa. Uh, is to not give me to go free sana because mm -hmm. you will go on that particular day when the services are offered free, but to fika satano and I could now to come a mere moja or if you can So no rudi home come with just idica. The next time uta enda labdo ta choka and you are uh, now you are going to lose it is what I get. Okay. So uh, I feel like let's just impress also. Uh, to sit again, maybe to the Buddha. Mm, an yeah. investment on your health, it also yeah. is just as important. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you very much, Nahashan. Ninini, the final uh, say from all this that you want to speak to someone out there listening, going through a similar situation that you went through, and you are quite encouraged. Yeah. When I say this, Lazimani say I'm a DJ MC, actually super DJ, super MC. Call me DJ Twaki. Ukini pata stage, I'm a very different person from the one you get today, I am today. Uh, I suffered severe depression, but I'm here today speaking up to give some hope to someone who is maybe going through the same. So the only thing that you can do, get some person that you can trust. If you can't trust someone, we have hot, hotlines. Speak to them, get help. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Senator Nahashi, and thank you for sharing your story, being vulnerable and encouraging others to speak up.
Yeah. That is what we are for. So make sure you speak up if you're going through uh, certain situations. Speak up. Invest in your health. Go to a uh, mental health uh, specialist and get get help because you need it. And you you are valued here. You still needed here. So make sure you you know you do not try anything that you know that is not right. So we love you. Make sure. Uh, that you seek help if you need it. That has been Nahashan Poyle, who's a DJ, MC, but also a mental health advocate, talking to us about his experience and most, more so on overcoming depression. That has been Matters Health. Uh, we still have more for you. Ran Sakwa and Val will be coming on next with entrepreneurship. So stick with us. We take a short break. We'll be right back.